As the case number grows in Minnesota, we've learned a teenager has been diagnosed with COVID-19. Now here's what's happened today. The Minnesota Department of Health announced seven new cases of the virus, bringing the total case number to 21. Health officials say the current cases have not come as a result of community spread. The new patients are recovering at home, including a teenager from Dakota County. President Donald Trump says he took a test for COVID-19 and is awaiting results. His European travel ban was expanded to include Great Britain and Ireland, and the first death connected to the virus in New York City was reported. The Minnesota Department of Health has now tested 868 people. More than 300 of those tests happened yesterday. As of right now, all of Minnesota's confirmed cases have come from tests done by the state. But as commercial labs get up and running, more tests will be done. Yesterday, state health officials and Governor Tim Walz said they do not have enough tests for everyone who wants one in Minnesota. The governor is now asking Vice President Mike Pence for at least 15,000 tests a month. As mentioned, more cases of COVID-19 were also reported in Wisconsin. In the last day, the number of patients diagnosed with the virus jumped from 19 to 27. Nearly 250 others have been tested. Governor Tony Evers is closing public and private schools to slow the spread. All K-12 schools will close next Wednesday. There's no set date to reopen. Across the country, confirmed cases of COVID-19 have climbed to more than 2,400. At least 52 people have died. And today, a patient in New York City joined that list.